Hehe, <laughs> you lot. Why aren't you out there hunting down Syndical's team? That's easy for you to say. It's too much for us. Isaiah Sidenquil's team has gone way far out there. And we went, the best we could hope for is maybe the Lapis Cave. I joined the chase, but they fled into Mount Blaze. For the life of me, I can't go in there, and that's where I lost their trail. I'm a grass type, see? Fire doesn't agree with me at all. I don't know what became of Cyndaquil's team after that. But those fugitives, to think they would risk Mountain Blaze. They've grown up tough. I can't keep up. Ha 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 ha! What a spineless lot you are! You're so full of big talk. What about your team, Gengar? You just hang around in the square and don't do a thing. Walk the talk. You guys go. We're out of that picture. <laughs> Our role is to receive word about Cyndaquil's demise. <laughs> Tch, just pointed yourself that. Oh my gosh! Oh my goodness! Meta Jam, what's the word? Cyndaquil! Cyndaquil is... Oh, finally! We're finally rid of Cyndaquil! <laughs> It's the opposite! Cyndaquil is back! K -k what did you say? H hey! Over there! Cyndaquil! They're back! Hi everyone, we're back! Whew, finally made it back. We've been gone for so long. Feels kind of nostalgic to be back in the square, Cynequil. Hey, Mudkip! Hmm? Oh, it's you, Gengar. It's been a while. <laughs> What's with that smug confidence? <laughs> Maybe. Gengar, everything you said was completely wrong. Cynequil had nothing to do with it. Cynequil is innocent. <laughs> what? Is that true? Yep, we met Ninetales and asked. Cynical isn't the human from the legend. We're back because we discovered the truth. <laughs> Wait a second. You can't be trusted yet. If you're gonna make that claim, let's see some proof. P proof? That's right, some hard evidence. <laughs> Let's see some proof. Come on, out with it. Proof? Well, we don't have any proof. <laughs> it's too bad you don't have proof. You came back for us so we could get rid of you easier. How conveniently foolish. <laughs> now, fellow Pokemon. Here's your chance to get rid of Cyndaquil! <laughs> What's wrong, everyone? Don't you want to be rid of Cyndaquil? I... I always believed in Cyndaquil! You don't fool me! I... I'm out. I was saved by Cyndaquil's team before. I joined the chase with a heavy heart because of your urging. But I simply can't think of Cyndaquil being bad in any way. I've heard enough too. I believe Cyndaquil. Yeah, that's right. Who needs proof? Everyone. Extra! Extra! Read all about it! What? What is this? It looks like a newspaper, doesn't it? 
Okay, I'll read it aloud. Let's see. Pokemon News Extra. Cyndaquil Innocent. Cyndaquil met with Ninetales under the watchful eye of Alakazam. And proved that it had nothing to do with the human in the legend. As a result, Gengar's claims were found to be malicious lies. End. <laughs> you rotten... Stop, you liar! You conned us! Welcome back! Yep, it's good to be back. We're back like we promised. I'm so glad! Cyndaquil isn't suspected anymore! Yep, I'm glad too. We won't have to keep running from everyone anymore. Cyndaquil. We're both exhausted. I'm gonna go get some sleep. Our rescue team gets revived tomorrow. Let's try to do our best. We did it. We made it home. Good morning, Cynical. Did you sleep well? All right, we'll get right back into doing rescues. And look, Pelipper is bringing us mail already. Let's try to do our best like we always did, Cynical. Mudkip wanted to get right back to work as soon as we got back. But to be honest, I was still so incredibly exhausted. The only thing I wanted to do today was to just see everyone again, see how they're doing, and let them know that everything's okay now. Yo, amigo, it's awesome you're back. I'll be delivering mail to you again. I've been looking forward to this with my bill outstretched. I'll deliver tons of mail so you'd better be ready, amigo. The wandering postal carrier, Pelipper. You always know how to start the day off on the right foot, Pelipper. It's great to receive mail from you again. But now that that's taken care of, I think it's time we check in on our teammates and see how they're doing. Absol decided to stay with us after returning to the Pokemon Square. I was really happy for them. It seemed that they were finally able to settle down in a place that they belonged. Absol was very eager to help us out on more rescue work, and put an end to the natural disasters. But as for me, I'm just glad that we're still friends, and still together. As for Magnemite, we definitely had to see them again, and explain our reasoning for not bringing them with us. They forgave us on the spot, which was really nice. But what I was really excited to hear was that Magnemite was doing rescue work all on their own while we were away keeping the name of Team Go-Getters alive and thriving so that everyone would know of it and think of it in a positive manner, even while we were away as refugees. Magnemite became so powerful while we were away, they actually recommended that we split up more often. That way we could accomplish even more rescue missions at the same time. So from here on out, I think we're going to let Magnemite take care of themselves for a while and Absol will accompany us on future rescue missions. I think the future is looking very bright for the world, and for our rescue team. I'm looking forward to revisiting all of these places again. Not to mention all the new places we just visited. We could go back there and do rescue work in all of those dangerous areas that we have experience in now. Looks like everything we went through paid off in more ways than one. What do you think, son? Isn't the sea wonderful? Yes, Papa. Papa, Papa, can you swim? Gosh, no. Jesus, man. Of course! What do you take us for? Oh, so you can't swim. Papa, you're so special. My time away from everyone made me realize how important it is to check in on your friends. If you don't check in on them enough, perhaps you should do that more often to see how they're doing. 
and even if you talk to them every day, it couldn't hurt to ask more personal questions like if they're feeling okay, or if there's anything they're going through that they need help with. I don't want to ever take any time with them for granted ever again. I'd like to make up for the time that was lost. I believe in you, Cyndaquil, because you're my friend! I do apologize. How could one run a bank without trusting clients? I promise to satisfy your banking needs from now on. I hope you'll stay. We got conned by Gengar. I'm sorry. Ah, uh, no. I thought you were completely guilty. I'm sorry you had to go through such a miserable time. So, what became of Alakazam's team? Did they head underground? Groudon, the mythical Pokemon. It is rather worrying, but I suppose it is Alakazam's team. They should be fine. I'm truly sorry for what happened. Sorry for suspecting you. I doubted you too. I do so apologize. If you can wipe the slate clean, I will do my best to serve your linking needs. Um, let's just call it even for never using your services, Gulpin. I expected this. I thought there had been a mistake. I mean, look at you. You don't look like the sort who could be up to no good. I'll keep looking after your things, dearie. You can always count on me. I'm glad that some of you still believed in us, even after we were gone. I am so sorry. I was convinced that Syndical had to be the one. I'm very ashamed that I treated a valuable customer with such disdain and suspicion. It isn't just you, my brother. I am guilty of the same. But brother My brother, we both promise we will not make the same mistake. I will do my best to obtain even better technical machines and orbs. I hope for your continued patronage. I am so sorry. I was fully convinced of your guilt, Cyndaquil. But I am glad to hear you are free from that cloud of suspicion. I'll never give you my business again. I hope you won't say that. Everyone welcomed us back with open arms. It was so nice to see their faces again. They all felt incredibly awkward around us at first, after what they had all done. But we forgave them. It was a scary situation. None of us really knew what the right course of action was. But we just followed our hearts until we discovered the truth. And now we're finally back. So let's put the past behind us. And just work towards making a greater future. For everyone. I'm so glad Cyndaquil isn't under suspicion anymore. I just knew Cyndaquil couldn't be evil. I hope you keep doing good with your rescue work! I regret this. How some old folklore I told could cause such an uproar. I got carried away and recounted that tale. I should have left well enough alone. After reconnecting with everyone in Pokemon Square, I was so exhausted. I asked Mudkip if we could have one more day off before our return to work, and they immediately agreed. This... that dream... again... It's been a while... Your... Gardevoir... Yes... Gardevoir... There's so much I want to ask you... Why do you appear in my dreams? As an agent of spirits... I must watch over you, because that is my role now. An agent of spirits? Yes, I fell under the curse of Night Tales in the place of a trainer, and became a presence without a physical form like this. Trainer? 
You mean the human that was in the legend about Nine Tails? It's awful that your trainer would abandon you and run away. Yes, my trainer was a terrible person. Mean and conniving. My trainer wasn't a nice person, truly, but I don't hate my trainer. Huh? You don't hate your trainer? Why not? Well, I wonder why myself. I don't quite understand. My trainer did some terrible things, but somehow... I can't bring myself to feel hatred. My trainer had some quirks, but there were good qualities too. And when it happened, I was desperate. When it happened? You mean Ninetales' curse? Yes. I protected my trainer from Ninetales' curse with my entire being. If the trainer is facing danger, it is our duty to protect the trainer with our lives. We guard a flower that way. I kept my trainer safe. That alone was enough to make me happy. Protect the trainer, even at the risk of your own life. It's amazing what Gardevoir did. Oh, I must mention, I don't mind the form I have taken. I live on this way with pride in the role I have been given. Role? Yes, all things have a role. They all serve a purpose, just as I have my own role to play. You too have a role to fill. You have come here to perform a certain role. And for that role, you became a Pokemon. What? What are you saying? Well, uh, Earthquake? No, wait! I need to know more.